Let's say we had a small list of words shown on the left and a large text file shown on the right. What if our goal was to try and count how many times each of the words shown on the left appears in this large text file? So the output might look something like this. Here, next to each word, we've listed the frequencies or the number of times that the word appears in the text. How could we generate this output? Well, one thing we could do is take each word from the list on the left and search for it by looking through the entire document shown on the right. How many comparisons would we need to do to do this method? Well, there are 10 words on the left, and we're searching the entire document 10 times. And since there are 1,000 words in the document, we would end up with 10,000 comparisons. Alternatively, we could go the other way. We could take each word in the large document and look for it in our small array of words. Once again, there are 1,000 words in the document and 10 on the list. So this would result in 10,000 comparisons as well. Can we do any better than this? Since we're searching the same array over and over again, we know we can improve the search time by sorting the array first. We can now take each word in the large document and only look for it log n times in the smaller array. That would reduce our total number of comparisons or lookups from 10,000 down to somewhere between 3 and 4,000. We can do even better by sorting the large document and then looking for each of the words on our array in the sorted document. Once again, this would have a mild improvement. But can we do significantly better than each of these methods? And the answer is yes. If we use a hashing technique you learned earlier in this course, we can reduce the amount of searches that we need so that we go from 10,000 closer to 1,000. Let's look at this Sicelli hash function. Here what we're going to do is we're going to take our original list of words and we're going to hash them into a hash table using this function. We'll learn more about the Sicelli hash function in class, but for right now, let's just look at how it's used. Once we create this hash table shown on the far right, we are then able to take each word from our large document and pass it through the hash function to generate a hash value. When we get that hash value, let's say that the hash value of the word when happens to be three, we can look at that particular location in our array and see if the word when is present. We can then record the event and move on to the next word. We can do this for every single word in the large document. By doing so, we now reduce the number of lookups or queries we have from 10,000 down to 1,000. Therefore, we can greatly increase the efficiency and reduce the runtime of our program. In this assignment, your job is to write code to accomplish these tasks. The small list of words will be located in a text file, and the large document will be located in another text file. You must take the small list of words and create a hash table using the Sicelli minimal perfect hashing method.